All right, hey there folks. So uh, this video is just gonna show you some, uh, an example of sketching out something. Um, there are gonna be times in here where I'm gonna ask you to say sketch 10 things of a specific topic or something like that. I want you to work quickly. I want you to just sketch from your head, sketch from your hand. Don't think too hard about what it is that you're actually drawing. Just get things onto the paper. Um, this can sometimes be called rapid visualization because you are rapidly visualizing concepts that you have in your head using a pencil on a piece of paper. So um, this example, I'm gonna I'm gonna sketch ten food items. Okay, food items. So that's what we're gonna go for. Uh, let's see how I can do it. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time but on each one, but I am going to talk out loud so that you can hear me, so you can kind of hear my thought process. And this is aimed to model this for you when I ask you to do this uh, in the classroom. So um, this is just, it's sort of a kind of brainstorming. So food items, all right, let's start thinking. What is the first thing that comes to my mind? Well, I'll tell you, it's an egg. Uh, I'm going to sketch an egg like this, but you know, that's not usually how we think of an egg. Uh, oftentimes when I think egg, I think like a fried fried egg or something like that. So there's like a yolk like this. Uh, I don't stress about artistic ability. Maybe this thing is sitting in a pan. If you don't know what a pan looks like, don't draw a pan, right? Uh, and this is gonna be different for every, uh, every one of these little sketching assignments. Just have fun with it and see what your hands can do. See what you have in your brain and it's not gonna look perfect every time, and that's okay, that's sort of the point. So there's one. Okay, two, how about a hamburger? Well, what does a hamburger look like? I don't know, we got a bun, and then there's probably like some lettuce, and this is probably like the burger. If I had colors, this would certainly look better. This here is maybe a slice, a slice of cheese or something like that, and then we've got like the bottom bun underneath that. So there's two. All right, what comes to my head next? Maybe, how about like a bottle of mustard? All right, that's related to a hamburger. And what you're gonna find is your mind might flow from one thing to the next. And that's good, that's what we're going for. We're looking for maybe related ideas, just like how if you were brainstorming uh, different uh, words, you might make some kind of random connections. Uh, and you know, there is the mustard bottle. Maybe it's got a label and it says mustard on it. And now I'm thinking, all right, I'm thinking containers. How about like milk? Like what about like, like a milk carton or something like that? Like those little ones that they have up in the cafeteria. Uh, and don't think about your ability to draw. That is not the purpose of this. The purpose of this is coming up with different ideas that are related to one another, okay? So there we go, four. Five, what's five? Oh, strawberries pop into my head. I don't even know how that was related to milk. Maybe like strawberry milk. I don't know what a strawberry looks like though, geez. It's kind of hard sometimes to draw like these organic forms, but look, strawberries have those little seeds on the outside. It has like a little, a little green leafy part up here at the top. So, and those leaves are kind of ragged. Uh, where does my head go next? Six, let's do six. How about, ooh, ooh. Ooh, this kind of reminds me of a lemon. We've got a lemon. Now, does this look like a lemon? I don't know, I don't think it really does. How can we make it more clear that this is a lemon? Maybe if there's like a glass of, of lemonade next to it, it's about communication, communicating your ideas. What is this? This is a glass of lemonade and there is the slice of lemon there on the side of it. Lemonade, boom, okay. Uh, and maybe there'd be like a sugar pot next to it or something because you're like putting sugar in it. Sugar, right? There's a spoon sticking out of the sugar bowl. Okay, something like that. And then sugar, now I'm starting to think seven. I mean, what about a loaf of bread? That's a food, that's a food item, that's a food. Okay, and sometimes they have those like score marks on top of them where they cut it open. Uh, bread, oh man, seven, eight. Bread and butter, all right, we've got a stick of butter sitting on a dish. That is my butter dish. I don't know if you guys leave butter out at home. This is, oh, this is a sad butter knife, but that was the butter knife. <laughs> if you leave butter out, it's often easier to spread. 
Knives have those little scallops on it. So eight. Uh, how about nine? What do we got? Uh, butter. Ooh, see, now this is where I start to get stuck. My head is like, what are we going to do next? I have no idea. Uh, next thing that comes to my mind, ham. Okay, a big old ham. You know, ham, you know, ham is actually like the leg of a of an actual like pig like like this is like the thigh it's really alarming when you think about it actually so and we'd see the bone in there so we've got we got a big ham sitting on a platter and look at that i ran out of time but there's nine right there so if i were to go for my 10th one um maybe that would be a cup of coffee okay so you got to just kind of push yourself and ask yourself, and that worked out well because I had the time limit of the bell because I've got a class coming up here. But you got to kind of ask yourself, how am I going to represent things that are related to something that I'm being asked to represent? And how can I communicate them? The lemon turns into a glass of lemonade the, uh, with some sugar next to it to communicate that better. And your, your skills will only get better by exercising them. And your ability to come up with new ideas of things to design are only going to get better if you exercise them by forcing yourself to do activities like this. So good luck, folks. I hope this helps. I hope this is a good model. Uh, ask me if you have any questions.